Ryman Gardens is Iowa State University's public garden. In November of 2002, we opened up the Christina Ryman Butterfly Wing. It's a 2,500 square foot facility where we can fly up to you know, 800 individuals and of that 80 different species from around the world at any given time. As construction was underway in the lab here, uh, we knew eventually we were gonna have to have chambers to put our pupa in that would be controlled hopefully to the best possible temperature humidity aspects. As an industry standard, everyone likes to use about 80 degrees, 80% 80 humidity. Those can be hard to accomplish at a, at a kind of an even rate. Uh, the nice things about a Percival chamber is it, it self-regulates the temperature and humidity all on its own over time. A lot of our butterflies come from tropical environments. We get a big shipment from Costa Rica, for example, once a month. And being able to use the Percival chambers to adjust the humidity and the temperature and the light, we can duplicate the conditions that those butterflies have in their natural environment. We received our original Percival chambers um, and we used them for five, six years. And then Percival came back over and they made it much tighter and much easier for us to clean and maintain butterflies who are very tricky little creatures and good at squeezing into tight places. So it's been great to, to continue to work with them and improve the chambers the best we can so that we get the best emergence out of our butterflies. When you look at our chambers, not only are they incubation chambers for us, but they're also display cases that are visible for our visitors. So when Percival designed the cases for us, they're designed in a way that the trays are tipped at an angle, so the butterfly pupa are easily visible. They're also very easily disassembled, so we can keep them clean, so they have a good appearance. We're actually running an emergent study right now. We're getting butterfly data from other butterfly um, exhibits around the world. And what we're looking for is to determine what really are those specific conditions that each species needs to have the best emergent success. And then with the chambers here, I'll be able to set them to whatever I need to ensure we have the best emergence of any facility potentially in the world.